Hello and welcome back to Postcards from a Wet Rock. We are continuing the Jazz Child. This is the penultimate episode. So next week there'll be like a feature length finale. Um, but this is part 19. It's called Salesman from Dred's Log. Heading for the planet Xanadu and the Jazz Child. You remember they got that lead from Jigsaw Man last, last uh, issue. He continues This morning at 4.17, the robots woke us from deep sleep. A distress signal was coming in from one of the many refuge stations along this stretch of the spaceways. So it's where, they, where all the shipwreck survivors kind of hang out and wait for rescue. They decide they're going to dock and pick them up. Lovely opening page. But only one man came aboard. I say man, he was hardly that. I left him to call in the airlock until the translators picked him up. And this very strange creature, he looks, um, I'm not sure whether he's, that's his fur or he's wearing some sort of grassy tunic, um, gown really. Uh, he's got like spider legs for hair and like some sort of African mask for a face. I don't know if it's his face, I don't know if this is his get up or this is what sort of a creature he is, but Greetings, good friends. Rhinus Limpopop Quince, traveller, purveyor of fine merchandise through 17 systems at your service. I'll thank you to set me down at the next centre of habitation. Meanwhile, perhaps I can interest you in some of my most quality wares. So he's a salesman. That, that makes sense of the title. Lartner isn't very keen on letting a salesman in. He said they should have put up a no hawkers sign. Um, but... Um, under galactic convention, even hitchhikers have to be picked up. Let the oddball in, Larter. We'll drop him off first chance. So he comes in and he starts starts his spiel. Perfumes and spices from the 17 systems. Cloth from the galaxy's finest weavers. Precious stones and rottle bones. Synthetic hair and tableware. Large things and small things. Don't make sense at all things. Rhinus can supply. But he's only got one suitcase. Ah, small perhaps, but touched by the magic of the Turlian Warpers. No item is too large, no numbers too great. Rhinus Limpo Pop Quince's case can never be full. Got all the spiel, this guy, ain't he? Got the gift of the gab, this guy, ain't he? But um, he starts taking loads and loads of stuff out of this suitcase, like his Mary Poppins. All sorts of things. The room's overflowing and the suitcase is still half full. How does he do it? Don't know. I don't know how you look in his suitcase when you're all the way over there either. So how do you know it's half full? But Judd Dredd says this is some kind of space warp. And uh, old Limbo Pop, he brings out a Nanja dragon. But uh, they say they've grown out of toys. But no toy, friend. It's alive. It's tiny now, but just say the word and you'll have a hundred tons of living fire spitting rage in here. Or perhaps you're selling. Rhinus Limpo Pop Quince buys all items. Most quality prices paid. Well, Dredd tells him they're not buying or selling anything and he should put his junk away. Not quite sure what he means by putting his junk away, but we'll gloss over that. But Limpo Pop thinks that's quite unfriendly. Travellers find it pays to deal with Rhinus Limpo Pop Quince before Rhinus deals with them. The salesman's words were sinister, admits Tread in his log. How sinister? I didn't realise until later. Oh dear. Sir, Judge Larter is not in cabin four. The salesman has also gone. Search the ship. I'll check with Hershey on the engine deck. But Limpo Pop has got there first. Hershey asks him what he's doing now. He says, I've come to collect my goods. You were told we've no wish to trade. That's quite all right. It only takes one. And he throws this like silver ball at Hershey, like a globe, little marble thing. Don't move, salesman. Where's Hershey? Dreads on the scene. Uh, Limpo Pop tells him she's there. She's quite safe. And he throws one of these silver globes at Dread. Instinctively, I snapped down my respirator. It was this that saved us all. So we know they're going to be all right. He's just told us. But uh, he shrinks down to miniature size and he's unconscious. 
You shouldn't have been so unfriendly, friend. You should have dealt with the salesman. Rhinus Limpo Pop Quince never goes away empty handed. So the fact they're using um, Dred's log is why he's told us they're all going to be all right in the end. But it's a nice device, but it kind of does spoil it because we're approaching a cliffhanger. Anyway, when he comes round, everything's black. He's in some kind of box. And he finds, he's got his torch. And he's found, he's, he's there next to a, a bike. And he finds Hershey and Lata in a matchbox, like more or less. Mega City Judges, set of three, 400 S, some sort of credit. So, Dread's obviously going to be next. Boxed up like a Christmas present. Lata, Hershey, and a space for me. But he fixes their respirators and they come round. He says they weren't gassed, but there is a gas in the box keeping them in deep sleep. So once they've got the respirators on, they're all right. It's some sort of warping thing when the um, when they shrink that knocks them out by the look of it. Dred's got made on earth written on his back. Anyway, is my guess is we're in the salesman's suitcase. Next prog, mayhem of the micro judges. Ooh, proper land of the giants, isn't it? So the robots are getting a bit antsy. The judges have disappeared. You, salesman, what have you done with them? I, Zorks, my good robot, you don't think I have them? Where could I hide them? As you see, it's only me and my little suitcase. So we cut to the suitcase and they're, they're, they're kind of recapping for us. Um, and trying to work out how to get out. Well, they get a fishing reel from the drawer they're in, that's handy. And Dread abseils down the drawers. And he just reaches the bottom when he's run out of line. So, uh, and then they lower the bike down. Speed was vital. Justice One would soon reach Brio, an inhabited rock, where the salesman was to be put off. So, kidnap will be complete then, I guess. But he wants to know, why aren't we landing, my good robots? Authority to land must be given by a judge. We must remain here until a judge has been found. Coddle stocks. If you can't keep track of your judges, that's your problem. I am an innocent traveller. Unless you let me off this ship, you'll be guilty of kidnapping. Yes, my good robots, kidnapping. Irony. But at that moment, Judge Dredd uses the bike's cannons to blast through the case. He says the ship's robots are our only chance. Because they're tiny, obviously. Um, the robots see this happening. They see the, the bike coming out. Judge Dredd! Silver globes flew from the salesman's hand. You'll have to be miniaturised too, my metal friends. Um, and he, he shrinks the robots. Strock, I'm too late, says Dredd. The judge instructs Hershey and Lata to distract Limpo Pop. He says, go for his eyes, high explosives. Because the bullet did be tiny, wouldn't they? Um, but they manage, they, they, they hit him all round the eyes, which is quite distracting by the look of it. And Dredd goes for the feet. And they, that makes him fall down you little squirt i'll reduce you to the size of a speck of dust he's got another spacewalk globe wait that's it and he shoots the spacewalk globe and that shrinks limpo pop beating him dread and the spacewalks knocked him cold we've not won yet look released from the gas inside the suitcase the salesman's other livestock was coming to life carnivores monsters and a dragon. The ninja dragon's coming alive. And they don't look too happy, says Hershey. They're as puzzled as we were. Aim to stun. Dredd realises they're all kidnapped victims. The dragon doesn't want to come quietly. But there was one chance. Black globes had spilled onto the floor among the silver. They had to be the reverse space warps. Got to bust it open. Return myself to normal size. He's very shrewd, Dodge Dread. That's exactly what happens when he shoots it with the bike cannon. He becomes full size again. Upside down, of course. Uh, that, that doesn't help. But he's able to pick up the dragon, put it back in its box. I used the space warps to return the crew to normal, and we repack the suitcase. The creatures can be safely released and examined back on Earth. Our scientists will have a field day. You'll have to go in there with the other salesman. 
you're going to have a long sleep. When you wake up, you're going to find out why they call us judges. Until then, this case is closed. Next frog, the angel gang found. You're going to have to wait a week for that. And that will be the finale of the judge child, which is superb. Um, and that's it. Uh, just a quick one this week because I've had a lot to do. Um, it's all tied up. Gives me a big finale to do next week. Uh, on Monday, I don't know what I'm going to do again. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, it'll probably... No, it won't. I won't say because I've changed your mind. But it might... No, I won't say it. All right. Thanks for liking and subscribing in advance because you've all done that, haven't you? I'm sure you have. No, you have never does that. All right. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, big up to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and watching regularly. Um, or occasionally uh it is appreciated thank you very much for that but um no no buts all right bye